Hello you all beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into your week December 7th to December 13th uh, 2020 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, just to remind you guys that if you do want a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to see a uh, a link to my website from which you can go for personal readings. Um, I also offer a tarot classes if you're interested in diving into the magic of tarot. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all that there is to it. So uh, with that being said, let's move to the reading straight away. And the first card for you, Gemini, which uh, does represent the very, to the very topic and the, how can I say, the situation in the week. That is going to be the Nine of Wands, followed by the second one, which stands as the energies which are feeding the situation and the topic. Uh, we do have a Justice here, the third card, that will be the challenges that you are about to overcome. The, the, these are the things that pretty much you are going to put your work into. That is the Five of Cups. Uh, followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. We do have the moon card in that position. The fifth one here, it is the way that people see you, what kind of impression you're going to put into your um, wife or a husband, into your family, friends, co-workers, etc, etc. That is to be the, the queen of wands. Then it is the obstacles which are to hold you back should you give yourself to, it, to them. And that is the Nine of Swords. The uh, seventh card that we have, it is the positive aspects which are going to push you forward should you give yourself to them. And that is the Two of Wands. And the last one we do have here, that will be the guidance that Saro is offering. And for that um, position, we do, have, we do have the Chariot card. Right, so it's... Uh, it's a pretty interesting one. Just give me a second here. Right. So, with the first two that we do have, which is the Nine of Wands and the Justice, it does look like that you are to uh, feel the necessity throughout the week to become much more organized and much more strict about the responsibilities, undertakings, and in general, you know, the things that you have planned uh, for throughout the week to a uh, take place. And uh, no matter how difficult it may seem, whatever you have scheduled to take place in the week, regardless if that seems to take place into Wednesday or into Friday, whatever it is, um, you can and you will gonna make it work, no matter what is to happen around. And that is going to be because you kind of like um, going to capitalize on or rather utilize the circumstances that are surrounding your environment. So should you enter into the week with a uh, business uh, business meeting scheduled or dates scheduled, you know, and etc. etc., they are for sure going to take place. Another thing that we do have here it is that this organization uh, or the yeah organization that you're going to exert into your life uh, is going to pretty much allow you to endure a lot and. Um, well, it's, it's kind of like a difficult relationship that we are building up here into your um, exterior, how can I say, influence and experience and the inner experience. Inner experience, I mean the experience that you do build up thus far from previous circumstances, previous, uh, uh, you know, um, ex yeah, experiences uh, in life that you had and the current situation. So you're going to see a lot in common into what is going on around and what was before and that's why you're going to be two or three steps ahead of time so you can take precautionary measures should the things are starting to go south and you're not going to allow to those the, the, the things in general to kind of like try to trespass a certain line of a point of no return now that is going to give you the perception you need in order to make an astute discernment what's 
it's worth it, what it doesn't worth it. I understood discernment as well of the sense of emergency. Now that is very important here because that should be the virtue you put in front of yourself and you do follow into the upcoming week the sense of emergency. Attending to the most emergent things first, whether you like it or not, or whether you do like them or not. And after that, you know, the things that can actually wait. So moving next, we do have the challenges that you will need to overcome. Uh, and that is the Five of Cups. And that relates to the sense of emergency I just talked about. That card pretty much points that uh, you would want the, uh, the order of uh, undertakings and tasks, dates or business meetings, etc, etc, to shuffle a little bit. Um, and um, just the fact that you will need to attend to certain things that you don't like or uh, you don't like in the sense of that you would prefer something else to take place instead uh, uh, is going to kind of like pose a little bit of an emotional distress within you, not a big one, but just a little bit. And that emotional distress, it is what you need to overcome here um, as uh, remembering the path forward and the most important thing, not deviating from it. How? By realizing that that's or rather like, like remembering that this slight disappointment it is exactly that a slight just a temporary disappointment if you do take it as a loss take it as a partial loss but whatever you do just don't deviate from the plans that you have made prior to the entrance of the week itself for the week itself <clears throat> Another thing that the card may relate to, again, with the topic is the poignant experience. Uh, like, how can I say it? Like reliving something that had failed or a similar situation with something that had failed beforehand. And uh, here you need to know that you already built up, like I said, an experience in this time. You once again can discern the situation very well and like beforehand. Uh, and by and through that discernment in the sense of emergency this time around you would be able to do the things right moving next we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy and that is the moon card and um, how can I describe it really uh, these are like gifts and blessings in disguise now in the, mo in, the, in the biggest peak of the card, which is going to manifest for some of you, the gifts and blessings are to be your fantasies or your fantasies are to become reality. But that is into the highest peak and say it's going to happen to one or two percent of the Gemini uh, into the upcoming week or into the week that we are right now that you are watching that video. For the rest, uh, these gifts and blessings are, like said, a gifts and blessings in disguise. You are going to see all that um, happening to you, having to, uh, to need to, to, to move in a, in a strict rules and, you know, to, to be, um, uh, what was the word, S uh, not consistent, okay, to be structured and to be organized and you wouldn't know really why. You know why, why, why I am doing that it is what you are gonna ask yourself and here where the blessing in disguise comes about there is a point there is a reason it does make sense but only it's gonna start making sense further into the future that is because you now are altering the inner circumstances the circumstances that you do have control over but there are a exterior circumstances things that does not depend on you but say they depend on your family they depend on your uh, wife or a husband they depend on your boss etc etc things that you do not know about right now and they are shaping and forming at the, uh, at the for the time being and further down the road you are to see when, when these circumstances or influences unravel in front of you, you are to see that actually everything falls into place and it does make sense and it, it leads you on a path toward a point or a destination that you do belong there. And the final thing as a gift and blessing is that you are going to feel calmness and peace in mind here with the moon card that you won't be left alone in the dark and or that you won't be laid off.
and you won't be. If you are, that is what it, what it was supposed to be. The moon card always drives you to the right destination without you knowing it and without you knowing why. I'm, dis I'm displaying dots and we're kind of like explaining dots how it's drawn from the card into my tarot classes. Not gonna dive into it right now, but th that is what you need to know, that whatever happens, uh, even if it is something bad and poignant, it was supposed to happen so you get back on track with your life. Moving next, we do have the impression that people are going to see you with and that's why I said that it's you are going to have the calmness and it's not going to play out as a, uh, as a bad, how can I say, uh, a bad influence here with the Moon card. It's because we do have the Queen of Wands. People are going to see you as, well, I can't explain it, you know, with... Um, Figuratively here, people are going to see you as a pinnacle that they need to stray toward. Uh, just to give you an example, people are going to see you as a very attractive uh, woman or a very attractive man and they would want to have your company around, like the center of, of, of the universe, okay? the center of the company that you're in. And they would want to catch up your attention, they would want to, to you know, to pose interest to you, regardless if that is about an intimate in, uh, interest or just a friendship interest, etc, etc. If we're talking about career, that card interprets in another way. Uh, people are going to see you with very astute uh, business sense, with a very well understanding of the nature of the matter, what you got to do, how to do it, to exploit the weaknesses of the matter, to exploit the weaknesses of the problem and to enforce to the best of, of, of of any way it's possible, the, the strengths of the means you have in order to meet ends. And that is why it's highly unlikely that you are to be laid off throughout the week for um, the very first impression when the problem arises, you are going to be the option one or a Gemini in your company is going to be an option one to, uh, to tackle with the issue. Your enemies, though, are going to see you as a very manipulative uh, and how can I say very, uh, the word is not sneaky, more like, um, uh, more like clever, you know, somebody who it does play by the rules, but has no honor and has no dignity uh, and takes on to any opportunity possible, even if, you know, that doesn't dictate on a, I'm not going to dive into explanation, hopefully I made uh, my points across. So the next one, uh, it is uh, the obstacles which are going to hold you back and that is the Nine of Swords. When Nine of Swords comes as an obstacle, it's always about the consequences of one's actions and you are going to think and rethink or you have that tend tendency to think and rethink what are going to be the consequences of your actions based on the poignant experience I, I talked about previously at the start of the reading and um, this state may just make you miss your moment, lose the opportunity ahead. Uh, and that's all that there is to it. Now, I'm not saying that there won't be another opportunity and with the moon card into the gifts and the blessings, definitely you are going to, you are going to have such, but uh, it will be better to do it earlier than later, isn't it? So here the obstacles are not that severe and not that big. <clears throat> And uh, the good thing about the moon and the nine of swords that we do have it into those positions is that the moon highly negates the, uh, the fear of being left alone or being, um, how can I say, lay off um, of your job. Even if there is such an, an, a threat that you are standing against, uh, it will be still calmness in you because for one or another reason you will know that you're going to find yourself a job, no, uh, no problem, very every, um, how can I say, anytime soon. And also if that's about being left alone, you will kind of like already have been adopted the standpoint that if that happens, it was a meant to be. But it is about the consequences of your actions 
And um, at the end of the day, uh, especially with this reading, it's better to do something than just stick around and, and, being, uh, and being scared of what may happen. Just don't presume it, okay? Don't presume anything. Focus on what it is right now and do everything to the best of your abilities because you can do it, Gemini. Next one, it is the things that are pushing you forward. Uh, the positive aspects of the week that is going to be the two of wands. So Gemini, um, that card says that as you enter into the week, you will have some good progress, either regarding within your career or either regarding within your relationship, a good progress in life in general. And if you do allow the impression of the consequences of your actions to stop you, that progress may be lost. So what are the positive aspects? The progress and the achievements thus far, you need to remind yourself of them and how well they contribute for your life and you need to aim to improve them further. So here we are not talking about new beginnings, we're not talking about new endeavors, we're not talking about new opportunities. We're talking about an opportunities to expand on your current enterprises, to expand on your marriage, to expand on your position in work, okay? To expand on your salary, for example, but not on any new things. And finally, we do have the guidance that Taro is offering, and that will be the chariot card. So, Chariot card here pretty much tells us only one thing, that you can do it no matter how tough it is. And uh, within this work, uh, within this week, you need to step into it with, uh, with determination, iron will, and as well, um, high opinion of oneself. Not pride, not by any means, but you need to, to enter in it um, in, impressing, not impressing, but um, with an impression that you are well recognized that you can collect the, 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 the look of your hard work and you can have a recognition and you will. On its own, the chariot here points that you need to count only and exclusively on yourself. Of course, if you do need help and you can get help, that's good. But you need to know that with the chariot as a guidance, should you take help, the recognition and the rewards is going to be split among the helping hand and you, while you can definitely do it alone, no matter how tough it is. So that being said, guys, this was uh, the weekly tarot reading for you, Gemini, for a December 7th to December 13th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.